everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Vault of the Void, a roguelike deck builder that I really, really enjoy that has come out in 1.0, which is kind of rare for me. I usually cover a lot of early access games, or pre-early access games, and it's kind of nice to actually dive into a game that's ostensibly done. Maybe we'll get some more. Anyway, Vault of the Void came out in 1.0 a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was busy at the time, but here we are diving in now. We're going to be playing as the Templar character, who does a bunch of lightning combos and uh, is very much goes for those big hits, which I really love. And uh, I should probably mention, so it came out in 1.0 a little while ago, and it's 18 bucks normally, which is an odd price point for me. I think it's because Australian currency conversion? Not sure. But it's one of the 10 roguelike deck builders that I like truly will recommend to everybody. So I hope you guys enjoy, and maybe, maybe give it a try yourselves. So Vault of the Void just launched, right? Yes, sort of. Uh, it launched in 1.0 a week ago at the very least. Okay, Matron of Memories. As you descend into gloom, you find yourself confronted by the remains of an ornate figure, peaceful in its tomb of stone. Memories begin to flood your mind, like ink spilling into water, blossoming slowly, far from reach. They're not your own, but familiar all the same. So you urge yourself forward, a voice cuts through the noise like a blade, peaceful and soft, yet bordering on the edge of sorrow, offering an offer of aid at a time of need, wrapped in some ghostly assurance of trust. So five souls, 500 essence, or hold onto egg, you may well fight a dozen battles before you find out what this contains. Egg. We now have an egg. So, this will upgrade a card and potentially get me one of... One or both of these cards. Uh, chance to upgrade a card. And then, so, reinforcements, three volatile smash. Interesting? Oh, I see. Smash. 16 damage, rage 50%, volatile goes away. Versus... Game one energy every turn. Ooh, wait, expel. Oh, is re removed from battle. I kind of like the idea of this one. And then heretic sight. Clear this room to earn fervor and spend on zeal abilities. We kind of want to head up for a class trainers and some other stuff, so I might want to take the upper path. Though taking the lower path gets me a couple of card upgrades. I might, I might want to do that. Mm. And then these are elite fights. Could I actually potentially get down here? I might be able to. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go down for shifting winds first, and figure it out. Okay, manage deck, manage everything. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, let's see. So, the way this works is slightly different from Slay the Spire. Uh, I think none of them are actually hitting me on this round. The next round, we're gonna have to worry about it. Yeah, nine threat next turn. So I'll have to block then. For now, let's pop grounded twice because that gets rid of it. And then we have charge, but I can get rid of these dissipates to give myself a bunch of energy to boost this damage a little bit. I'm going to hit her just because. We also have overcharge one and zeal. Yeah, let's just snag that. Okay, so I'm not actually going to take the damage here, but I will soon. So if I block, I discharge, shock everybody, hit charge. Uh, let's see, zeal. Gain one zeal for every energy spent, triggering zeal powers at certain levels. Resets at the end of the turn. So at zeal 3, I get 3 block, and at zeal 7, divine power overcharge 2. So, what else can we do? I have 2 energy, so if I do this, we can limit break and just delete one of these guys from existence. He seems spookier, and that gets us our divine power zeal overcharge. Which is actually pretty helpful. I <laughs> shouldn't want her to know eggs are expensive. That's that's why I chose the egg. I know eggs are expensive. Okay, 24 damage. Just delete the man from existence. Nothing we need to worry about. So, bunch of essence. Uh, even more for a perfect fight. An upgrade point, and we get shifting winds. So, what do we upgrade? Interesting question. Uh, limit break does not actually up the damage, but does up the rage, which is not bad. Feedback is more damage. Block 12... Shock 5. Eh, dissipate's not bad. That's not that much better. And, ooh, upgrading grounded means even more overcharge. I actually like that, I think. More than anything else, the limit break is real real tempting but hard to work with. So let's up upgrade the uh, overcharge for the time being. What does the gem get me? Oh, offering void souls, souls, but he requires essence. We can't do that, even if we wanted to. That is way too early of a shot. Okay, so what are we looking at? 
Add to Bane. So the Forsaken Pup is probably the one we want to get rid of. We do have an over... Uh, we do have to Galvanize. Let's do that. Overcharge Zeal 2. And I'm not going to be taking any damage here. So, yeah, let's just... Uh... Oh, but I do take some damage from this. I forgot. Cinder Hounds, when you hit them, uh, hurts me. Well, good to know. Okay. Now, what is my goal on this one? Just to kill the war, war mongrel? You know, I'm not actually sure, but that's fine. So, let's do... Ooh, we do have a limit break if we want to. And that's equal to the target's shock, but I don't think we have much. So, let's start with the dissipate, then a feedback. Kill that dog so we don't have to worry about it. Pop grounded, and then burn these other two. I'd like to do more, but can't. Music for this game is freaking great. Okay, I'm looking at six damage and I have no means to block. Which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's see, fourth threat next turn. It's gonna get worse. Like we could try and kill this guy, but why don't we why don't we burn all of this and hit a rolling thunder? Zap the hell out of him, get some zeal, a little bit of block. Not much, but I'll take it. I'll have to figure out how to heal at some point. I apparently drew all of my dissipates, which is a big whoops. Um, let's just do another one, and then just burn the rest of these. Because I'm overcharged to the nines, so we mostly want to just kind of chill for a second. <gasps> Cards. Oh, right, I'm using the Rhapsody card pack. <laughs> okay. Do we just smack him? Yeah. And we take no damage. Didn't get a perfect shot, but that's fine. Rage, purge, delay rage, 25%. That's okay. I don't know if I care too much for that one. We do get an upgrade point. So, who? What do we upgrade? I really... I do like upgrading the groundeds, but I'm not sure how much we need to do that for. Galvanize, though. That's a bunch of extra damage. And do we head for the treasure? Essence souls and an upgrade point. I like that. We could go up here. Elite fights have a choice of an artifact. Does this actually essence souls and an upgrade point? So there's there's no artifact out of that. So if I want to get two art artifacts, I'm gonna to have to go up. Question is guts. Hmm, first time each turn you play a heavy card, block equal to twice as cost, expel. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting. It's not that huge, but it's still kind of nice. Versus if I go up here, we get another smite. It's okay. Hmm, what is this one? Cursed idol with the ability to grant artifacts for your devotion. Uh, let's go up, let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. Potions, belt, or brewer belt. Belt. Interesting. Can we equip either a brew or belt slot? Each with different effects. Potions that are brewed have their effects played automatically at the start of combat, often lasting the whole fight. Well placed in the belt, you have access to trigger its effects at any time. Interesting. Okay, so we have this. But if I brew it... Okay, brew. At the start of each turn, 50% rage. Belt. I see. I like the idea of brew. So we're going to brew. Can you got on top? I am entirely unsure about that. Five essence for each point of damage this enemy suffers. Ooh, high. So, cower and fear, 5% fortitude. Fortitude reduces their damage. So, frankly, let's burn these, hit that, Hit him with a charge and then rolling thunder for the rest to give him a bunch of shock. Okay. Still not attacking me. Nothing to worry about there. Do we care about shock that much? Maybe, maybe not. I'm probably still gonna hit him with charge. And then just delete him from existence. Holy shit, goodbye. And we get fervor. I forget what fervor does. Oh, right, it's this. So, overcharge one, or upgrade a... Ooh. 
Okay, so we currently do not have a Zeal 5, so we might want to grab that one. Do we care? Delay Rage, Delay Block, or Shock to the Highest HP Enemy. We can also get Upgrade 1 card from the deck, but I don't know if that's permanent. Versus just Overcharge 1. Currently it's Block 3, which is not bad, actually. Uh, Blizzard Vigor isn't the worst idea ever. Two random Volatile Common cards in the hand. Next card played will cost one less. Ooh, that's good. Or gain an energy, draw one, discard one. Ooh, those are, that's also good. Two weeks of the highest HP enemy. Shoot. All of these are kind of great. Overcharge one, deal damage to an enemy equal to current energy plus your max energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to go for that. Snagging this would be absurd. Because I have a lot of overcharge. That should actually do a bunch of just free damage. So from a little I played of early access, I do remember all the characters play differently. Oh, very differently. Oh, there would have been two fervor sites there. Shoot. Anytime you lose health, this creature will increase its frenzy. Oof. Okay. So what do we have? After you cast your spell, apply vulnerable two to a random enemy. Every six attack played is returned to your hand. Or a zeal one every time you play a non-volatile uncommon call card. Zeal two every time you play a non-volatile rare. Ooh. I'm going to go for the fabled relic. That seems kind of useful. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this one. We're going to rolling thunder it. Then we're going to dissipate and hit him with that. And we're just going to discard that. Cool. That's a bunch of damage flying my direction. Uh, let's see what I can do about it. Unfortunately, wait, no, no, no. We'll be fine. Uh, let's get rid of limit break at the moment as I can't do much with it. We really just want to do dissipate and then a galvanize. The dis dissipate doesn't fully get rid of her damage, but the zeal does. Cool. Because, yeah, this guy gets tougher every time he hurts me, which is a little spooky. But not actually that spooky. Uh, let's see. Because I think he's going to hit me with a double galvanize. Let's get rid of this charge. Hit him with that. Then dissipate. Okay, we take no damage, so we're going to just get rid of the other dissipate. I want to have a large, large quantity of energy if I can. Though, in retrospect, I don't know. Maybe it's not as necessary as I... Whoops. As I think. Now, he's not hitting me on this one, so we're just going to hit him twice. Grounded. And then burn both of these. He's getting tougher. Rude. Uh, let's see. Overcharge. Zeal. Do we just hit him a bunch? I've got a lot of rage. Yeah, I think we can just kill him. Yeah, we didn't even we didn't even need to hit him with the big hits. Okay, cool. And then class trainer, oh, we've got plenty. I don't have any non-class cards. Oh. That's what the class trainer does. Oops. Well, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go here. So small offering of 250 essence gain a random common artifact. We do actually have souls. Souls by fighting mobs. However, they can be found elsewhere. Tradable with Soul Collector and various other event rooms. You can unleash your unspent souls when you reach the vault to inflict damage to the void. Oh, but why would I do that? So we could get a random rare artifact or spend eight souls to get an uncommon. I like the idea of spending the eight souls. So we get... The start of each turn, draw one and choose one card to place at the bottom of your deck. Oh, hand management. I like it. Okay. And we should probably manage my deck because I think I have at least one of these. So, Ghost Inert. Add a volatile copy to your hand. Ooh. I'm going to put that on Shifting Winds. And we're going to put Shifting Winds in my deck. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep getting rid of charges because they don't really jive with my deck quite as much. Um, block 6, six Rage 50, tempt Tempting? Like, Dissipate's actually pretty good. No, we'll add this back. 
What do you want to give me some charge, though? Something I use often enough. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just going to put it on Rolling Thunder. There we go. Okay, and start battle, because I have nothing else. Are we still brewing potions? No, we have no potions. Got it. So I should probably hoard my potions a bit. Okay, choose a card, put it on the bottom of the deck. Get out of here. Get, uh, actually dissipate. Okay, grounded, shifting winds. Shifting winds again. Burn charge, grounded. Hit him with that, just because... I guess burn the galvanize because I can't do anything else. Okay, so now I get a shit ton of energy per round, just by default. Uh, let's see. Get rid of one of those. Doesn't actually look like they're aiming at me. So he's gaining frenzy. What is this? For every four cards you play in a turn, enemy will gain one AP. Ah, shoot. I think I goofed that one. Okay, so we're just going to start with the galvanize, and he's not actually going to hit me. So we're just going to do a rolling thunder and then burn the other two. Okay, put the charge away, pop grounded, dissipate twice, and then we stop, because if I do anything more, he gets stronger. Okay, I'm going to put the shock away. Apply cripple. Okay, if I do feedback, he's got 15. Get rid of both of these, and we're going to hit him with a limit break. Okay, so what does Cripple do? Let's see, he's not actually hitting me on this one. Start of your turn, draw X less cards. Ah, oh, rough, but not that bad. Pop Zeal, hit him with Current Shock, and then Limit Break. Took no damage, and we gain a fervor, which means I can grab this. Overcharge one, deal damage equal to current energy, plus your max en energy to a random enemy. That should be obscenely powerful. Uh, let's see. Okay, what does this give me? Reward you with a booster pack. I like that. A shrine would be interesting, but we do kind of want to go down to the elite fight, whereas that gets me a heal. Ooh. Honestly, let's go for the heal. Healing five every round is a pretty good deal. I watched your stuff for a long time. How is I not following you on Twitch? I don't exactly advertise my Twitch as much as I probably should. Okay, so what do these guys do? Gains Frenzy the first time it suffers any debuff or whenever an enemy is killed. That's a little rough, but I can also insta-give most, most of them. In that case, we might want to try avoiding using, like, Rolling Thunder, for example. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop all of those and we'll just wait. We'll use that on the next round. Okay, that's some damage. And I am vulnerable. It is rude. Okay, so let's pop this first. Get a Dissipate. It gives them Frenzy, which is not necessarily what I'm looking for, but it's fine. Okay. And then we'll just get rid of the last Galvanize. Because I should still get plenty of energy. They attack a lot, but they don't do that much damage. So I think this will be fine. Uh, let's get rid of... a Charge. Because I think we want to do that. Taking no damage. So let's do another grounded and then feedback to kill him. Frenzy is the other guys, but this one's not that bad. And they're healing. And there's more. Oh, of course there's more. Uh, let's see. Taking 12. Let's put this one away. Do a dissipate. It's not enough. It's not enough. I do a charge. That one's getting a little too big.
Okay, let's send Limit Break away. And the problem is, I kind of need to kill these guys. And the problem is, my block gives them a debuff. Yeah, we're just gonna take damage here. It sucks. Looks like this might be the end of it, though. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of Rolling Thunder. Uh, let's see. Do that, and then Limit Break him. And then we avoid the rest of the damage. Okay, good. Okay, and we have Corpse Mound. So, if you end a turn with zero energy, overcharge one. If you end up end your turn with five or more energy, delay rage 25, maybe. At the start of turn four, vulnerable to, weak to, and slow to all enemies, or x card for three or more energy, overcharge one, and zeal two. Ooh. Divine Hammer is equal parts interesting but niche. Emergency but button is not bad. Go for emergency button. Keep that around. Okay, let's get rid of limit break. I just don't have the energy for it on this round. We gotta do setup. I'm just gonna burn the rest of these for the time being. So what does Corpse Mount even do? I probably should have looked at that. Okay. Uh, days. No, maybe? He's not hitting me, so let's get rid of that. Start of your turn, this enemy... Oh, that's what he does. That's legitimately kind of spooky. Uh, and you know what? I'll just do that because it hits him. For some. And those dazes should go away. Okay, he doesn't actually have much shock, does he? Yeah, he's got some. Let's get rid of this charge, at the very least. Let's pop a dissipate, followed by a feedback. So now we don't take any damage. I don't have a whole lot of juice here. Let's burn both of those so we can hit him with a galvanize. Give me some more overcharge. Okay. Get rid of Limit Break. It's hitting me for 16. Grounded, grounded, burn rolling thunder, and a pair of dissipates. Oh, he's getting extra damage. That's almost fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. He's not actually hitting me here, is he? Oh, I should have burned those before I hit him with that. Eh, it's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get rid of a Dissipate. Let's see. Lead with that. I want to gain some extra energy if I can. But I've got eight. So let's hit him with that. And then that. And then one dissipate, burn the other one, hit him with feedback. We kill him, we take no damage. Oh right, I need to go add that healing card to my deck, don't I? Deck manager. We also have a couple extra things. So let's get rid of another charge in favor of Blessed Recovery. So we also have draw one, discard one, or rigged. Start of battle. Start with it, which is actually pretty good. Honestly, I'm just gonna put the rigs or wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna put the rigs on the upgraded grounded. And I don't know. Do uh hand management on a discharge. Okay. We can upgrade. We kind of need those. Block equal to your current energy, delay rage 50%. That's not bad. Finally catching your stream. Been watching your YouTube videos for years and Glad now. Well, welcome on in. Uh, let's see. What do we get rid of? Galvanize. So what's he got? Immune to all damage and debuffs. And, well, you have more than four cards in hand. The enemy is immune. Oh, that's interesting. And we're just going to burn those. Interesting foe, though. 
Uh, let's get rid of Limit Break for the time being. It's not going to help me. Okay. Hit that, and then a Rolling Thunder a bunch of times. Oh, wow, that works. Okay, what do we get rid of? He's not really hitting me for much. So I kind of don't need to. Pop the Grounded. Burn the Dissipate. Hit for Charge. And then Feedback. We take nothing, and we get the Blessed Shield on top of it all. Not that that matters too much. Oh boy, that's a lot of debuffs right there. Uh, let's see. Void. On draw, suffer vulnerable, scrap and expel. Ouch. Yeah, because we kind of have to play the Void. Well, I'm not taking much for damage, so let's get rid of this. Two cards to discard. Yo, what? All right, that's rude. Charge, limit break. Oh, well, and that just insta-gives it. Holy shit, never mind. Okay, we get to upgrade something. What about this? Okay, rigged means I start with that. Heal my damage. I do like the idea of rolling thunder, maybe. Oh, blessed recovery. You can actually purge it repeatedly, heal slowly. Tempting, but I think I'm gonna upgrade limit break at this point. Do we even, you know what? I'll just do a regular mob room. Gets me some healing. And we fill up this meter faster. Okay, card to put at the bottom of the deck. Goodbye, that. Okay, so let's take a look. Whenever another enemy dies, enemy gains two AP. Every cards you, four cards you play each turn suffer poison too. If you already suffer from poison, also burning. Ooh, rude. So we kind of need to kill this sucker. Oh. Why did it go to him instead? I'm actually not sure on that one. Okay, let's get rid of the Galvanize. And... Rude. Either Galvanize or Rolling Thunder. I like... I like Galvanize in this case, though. Because we're going to start by hitting that. Then we're going to dissipate. We're going to... Oh, we can't. Burn Galvanize. Grounded. And we're going to just feed back that guy. Gets me a bunch of block. Does some damage to him. Let's see. Card to send to the bottom of the deck. Cool. So shifting wins twice, that gets us our energy gain, finally. Dissipate for a little bit more. Get rid of this one. Pop that. Heal. Poison doesn't bug me too much. But it is going to get genuinely more obnoxious as this goes on. Uh, let's get rid of one of the charges. And one of the galvanizes. I have a lot of energy, which is good. Okay, let's just gib him so we don't have to worry about it. Pop the Dissipate. Burn that, and then destroy him. So the Jinx Leprechaun is going to be a bit stinky, but he's on his own. Uh, let's see. Burn one of those. Not taking a whole lot of damage here. So let's... Burn the two dissipates. Hit him with a charge, which actually just deletes him from existence. Sure! <laughs> Why not? Alright, and we've got Skeleton King and his minions. So what are we looking at? Four threat, four threat, and King gets tougher. Let's actually, let's get rid of a dissipate. I don't think we're taking a whole lot of damage here. Burn both of the dissipates. Honestly, get rid of the, get rid of that too. Grounded, and... Like, you gotta kill the king. But the skeleton minions are stinky. Okay. It was a good round for a limit break, honestly. 
Mostly. I'll get rid of Rolling Thunder. I don't quite know how I want to handle this one. Because I have a lot of energy, but I do kind of want to play all of these cards. And I don't have enough. Uh, let's see. We could just skip the limit break for the time being. Yeah, I think that's the answer. Shouldn't have kept it. But it's fine. Oh, goodbye. Charge. Hello, Shifting Winds. You're way more useful. Oof. That's unfriendly. Get rid of an overcharge. Okay, so I hate to do this. Get rid of the galvanize. Get rid of the dissipates. We dissipate twice and ground it again. Because, oh boy, yeah, my overcharge is... Uh, I keep burning it. But I am shocking them pretty bad, so... Kind of worth. Okay. And they're not hitting me on this round, which is kind of great. Because... Charge to kill him. Galvanize to kill him. Burn both of these two to hit him with a feedback. Shock him a bunch, give myself 11 overcharge. Okay. And he brought friends. That's fine. Uh, let's burn this charge. I don't have that much juice here. But maybe I don't need much. If I limit broke... Ooh... It just insta-gives him. <laughs> I, that's not quite the damage that was predicted, but I am not going to complain. So, we get a free promise. Get an uncommon artifact, Promise of Antiquity. Every time you pay four more energy for a card, add an upgraded Volatile Clashing Steel to your hand. Block 12. Next card played will cost one more. Eh. Booster pack, guaranteed rate, gain four souls, two commons of a pool of five, two Mmm. I don't mind this. This would make Limit Break. I actually really like this one. Because that makes Limit Break a little bit more doable. And... Gain some souls. I see, so we could have gotten any of those. So, next order of business is probably stacking Fervor if I can. Fervor, card upgrades, and what is this thing? Cards and artifacts that you had to turn down Available for purchase. Interesting. Soul Collector. Kind of expensive, but not that much. Spells. What's the pawn? Chance to visit the queen. Trade souls for unique, powerful void stones. Ooh. Okay, so I think we just kind of ping pong along the bottom. I think we do want to hit the shrine. Eh, maybe not. So, ping pong along the bottom and see if I can go up. I don't know how much it's going to let me, but whatever. 7 damage to all enemies, sift, zeal equal equal to its cost. Eh. Okay, get rid of limit break. We're not going to be able to use it anyway, even if we wanted to. Actually gain the overcharge. Oops. Don't dissipate because that'd be real stupid. Okay. I think we want to hit this guy. Because the priest gives AP to all, which is actually real bad. If I let him live for too long. Uh, let's see. Burn one of the dissipates. We might take a hit here. Yeah, I think we have no choice but to take a hit here. Do we burn the grounded? No, we just play it. Okay, I take one damage. Rude. But it is what it is. Okay. I'm taking 18 this time. So we want to hold on to both of those. Get rid of the galvanize. So galvanize again. Burn that. Rolling Thunder. Burn the Galvanize. Feedback to kill him. Gain enough block that we don't take any more damage. Got kind of lucky there. 
Uh, drop the limit break because just can't use it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use it even if I can't use the shifting winds, the second one. We need that extra energy. Because I am hungry. Uh, let's see. Only eight damage this time. Let's toss limit break for now. Oh, shifting winds is every even turn. That's how that works. I was wondering why it wasn't quite working the way I thought it would. Well, damn, I almost killed him. Okay. Burn the galvanize. Honestly, hit him with a feedback. Not going to take too much damage, but we can wait. And then we do have Clashing Steel if we feel like using it. We actually don't. We don't. I don't care. I don't need to care. Okay. Toss that. Do a Blessed Recovery. I am full health. Die. Damn, that is effective. Okay, so what do we upgrade? Hmm... Shifting winds? Actually, yes. Make that rigged so we start with it. Okay, toss at the bottom of the deck. Don't care about that. And do we... Five threat, haunted one. I think he's spookier. What is his effect? Ah. I'll just do that for a little bit of overcharge. Okay, we don't need Blessed Recovery at the moment. We also do not need these Dissipates. Oh, and I have to hit him. Don't I? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Well, let me use Rolling Thunder. Oh, wait, no, no. I just can't use my Void Stones at the moment. That's fine. Now, can I hit whoever I want? Yes. What is his effect? So, always vulnerable, never suffer from weak. Interesting. Well, die. And then we might as well just zap everybody. And there's the debuffs. Uh, let's see. Eight threat next turn, but we're not taking in any this turn. I'm still going to put away Blessed Recovery because that's way less helpful. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the Dissipate. Hit the Drowned, and then we're just going to Rolling Thunder the Deep. Oh. And the drown just got killed because it, because of the buff. So how does overcharge work? Got here late, so I don't fully get it. Okay, so overcharge is a resource. Uh, let's just get rid of one of these. Overcharge is a resource uh, that I stack. Every point of overcharge uh, increases my maximum energy by one. And as long as I have overcharge, I gain one extra energy per turn. Uh, but I can also use it on dissipate. Discharge costs me one overcharge uh, to shock everything for three which is pretty useful. Let's get rid of these. Here's the question. I guess I have to kill this sucker. Well, die, boy. And honestly, oh, wait, no. These are both bloated. I could gib him. But I don't know how much block I'm sitting on. Oh, balls. Well, that didn't work. Because unfortunately, I killed it before the, uh, or after all the block went off, so I guess I took the hit. Nuts. I guess it doesn't really matter now. Get rid of that and delete him from existence. Okay, and we get some fervor. So, we've got this, which is banger good. Upgrades a card from the deck, which is I almost as good as the block three. Uh, let's see. 
delay rage 25%. It's a little tempting. Because I don't really get up to zeal 10 much at all. Because a free upgrade on every card, I'm assuming it's temp tempting. Yeah, we have yet to reach zeal 10 ever. Yeah, overcharge 1 and block. It's good, but it's not, like, that good. Let's go for the armament upgrade for the time being. The taxidermist. I read it as taxidermist, as in, like, taxation and skin, and I got confused. Uh, let's see, so he gets frenzied, so we actually kind of don't want to- Oh my god, but we kind of have to kill his- his buds. Shit. Uh, well. Oh, I see, they get- they get weaker the more cards I play. Sick. Um, guess I'm gonna upgrade Galvanize for the time being. Pop this, get me up in zeal. Burn feedback, hit him with a charge, and then we're gonna do this uh, because it just nerfs his creatures. So frenzy is equal to one plus the number of cards in your hand. Okay, so that's actually considerably less problematic than I thought it was going to be. Get rid of a dissipate, pop this one, grounded, uh, selected card to upgrade. I don't know, sure. Ground it again. And then I think we just burn both of these. That way they do minimal damage to me. He is going to make his minions much stronger. But I... Eh, don't care. Uh, let's see. We only need one of these dissipates. Pop it. Heal. Upgrade. Charge? Charge. Burn that. I hit him for 23 and then 49. Because, yeah, if I can kill the Taxidermist before he boosts too many of his unholy creations, this gets easier. The Banes are kind of rude, though. Well, none of them are hitting me. Okay, he is now dead. Burn both of these to... Give this sucker, because he's the one that hits me the most. Okay, and we're not taking any damage, so I don't need to worry about it. An indie game that I love called Ultimate Chicken Horse. It's a good game. I have played a fair bit of it. I don't think I'm going to play it again anytime soon. Unless the Wholesome Verse really decides to dive in on it. We've done it a couple of times, but eh. Okay, don't really care for Armored Approach. What do we upgrade? Honestly, it's almost tempting to... No, 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 we should probably actually upgrade... The Groundeds? The Groundeds. Okay, and we have... Dolus. So we have 8th ability card played will cost 0 energy. Every 3rd heavy card played will cost... Three less. First time each battle you play heavy card, upgrade it, add a red void stone to it. Interesting. What are my I don't I think I only have one heavy card. If you kept an attack card in your hand from last turn block seven, if you kept an ability card in your hand from last turn rage fifty, and buff gain an energy. Whoa. I kinda really like toolcase. But I'm going to go with Obsidian Crown, because I can time that. Uh, let's see, bottom of the deck, get out of here, dissipate. Okay. Grounded. Oh. She's goofed up my energy costs. And what do we upgrade? Rolling Thunder for the time being. And we burn both of these. And pop that. So, what is her effect? The card's added to your hand, its energy cost will be randomized between 0 and 3. When you purge a card, you suffer poison equal to its cost. When you play a card, reduce your poison by that cost. Oh, that's an interesting setup. 
It's Sneko, but Bizarro. Uh, which should be fine. All right, let's get rid of the really hyper expensive thing. So, first and foremost, we kind of need to block because, ouch. Okay, what do we upgrade? The other grounded. Then I'm going to, honestly, wait, no, 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 no. We're going to do a blessed recovery, get that out of here, rolling thunder, and then a feedback to give me some block, even though I guess I'm not really in any danger. Okay. Ooh, card to put on the bottom of the deck. Get out of here, galvanize. So, first and foremost, free dissipate is always appreciated. Grounded, don't care. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get the zeal bonus, are we? That sucks. Okay, and I'm not going to bother to... Do we purge? I'm going to take some damage from this, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about it. Okay, so that's a four cost. Which is too rich for my blood. Burn that for some energy. We get poison three, but I'm not too bothered. Because we can galvanize and then we can limit break. I'm not sure if boosting feedback was worth it. Oh wait, no, never mind. She just died. Boy, limit break is like the most busted and kind of hard to hard to predict thing I've got. And I am not gonna complain about that. Uh what do we what do we got? I've just been kind of picking up cards and ignoring most of them. Seven damage to all enemies, sift one. Discard a card from your deck. Interesting. Zeal equal to its cost. Oh. I like Consecrate, actually. That's pretty good. What else do we have? Discard one. Add two copies of the discarded card to the discard pile. Expel. Interesting. Block six. Rage 50. Purge delay rage. Eh. Oh, I guess we did have a bonus block, but whatever. Okay, get rid of anything, get rid of that. Shifting winds, grounded, shifting winds again. Uh, let's see, what do we boost? If I do this one, oh, zeal and block equal to its cost. Conse Consecrate being upgraded is uh, sick. Burn that, burn that, pop blessed recovery, and do we energize? Ah, I almost got up to seven. I mostly want that overcharge, though, more than anything else. Okay, not taking a whole lot of damage, so honestly, we can probably get rid of feedback. Every eighth way... Eighth card played, so is that about to trigger? Also, once per battle, you can click this data, red... red Stone upgraded wound to hand. What? Whoa. Okay. Okay, burn that, and then we might as well do a rolling thunder on that one, not that it really matters. Okay, so that baby baby dragon is uh, actually pretty sick. They're gonna gain some frenzy, don't care too much. Burn one of the dissipates. We are gonna have to use a dissipate, but that's fine. Get rid of the other one, uh, let's see. I guess we can actually play all three, so let's start with a charge. Upgrade, I don't know, feedback. Grounded and then Consecrate to do a ton of damage, upgrade the other one. And big docket. Oh, my docket's always going to be huge. Okay, what do we get rid of? A Dissipate, none of them are hitting me. We have a wound, I can just gib a dude. Uh, let's see, both are attacking me, neither of which are threats. 
Let's just burn both of these. I don't think Bane's an issue. Yeah, it just gets rid of... I like the face, though. Dude is just sinister. I love how the characters actually break their frame and are animated. I don't know how I never really noticed that. Well, if we just do a galvanize, they die. Perfect victory. Okay, what do we upgrade? Rolling Thunder or Consecrate? Uh, let's start with the Consecrate upgrade. Ever notice Wander's base has a lot, uh, Mike has a lot of base to it. I have it turned up slightly. I could turn it down. Um, I might have turned it up too much. I can, can turn it down a smidge. Uh, it's countering the fact that my mic sounds a little hollow normally. Um, but, I don't know. I, I have... I have headphones that don't really do bass in the same way that normal headphones do, and so I guess uh, it's kind of easy to miss out on. So how does this work? Queen stands before you. A faint glow of the obsidian chess piece is slowly dancing before her. Illuminate something that could be a smile. Each piece is its own abyss, dark as the void. Contained within are prismatic stones, each promising potent power to anyone who has the will to bear. Oh, so trigger your zeal. Hmm. Zeal three and four powers. Oh! Random volatile to hand. Delay block f four loop. Card will be shuffled into your deck. Trigger pl w Card effects repeat an additional X time, including. Include void stones. Triggers can't create more trigger. Oh. And draw one X spell. So. 3 and 4 powers, which is actually... Or 3 and 7 powers. Versus happen twice. They don't really hear the hollow sound you're talking about. Uh, it's more obvious when I don't have it on. Um, uh, double trigger is really tempting and could be really good on a couple of cards. But I'm almost thinking the trigger the 3 and 7... That's a good double trigger limit break for just a shit ton of damage. Which is really tempting, but triggering my 3 and 7... Nah, who am I kidding? Double trigger limit break. Let's be absolutely needless here. Okay, deck manager. Limit break. Upgraded. And trigger twice. Perfect. Okay, what else do we have? Gain more block. Honestly, I'm probably going to just put it on a dissipate. And then we have gain gain rage. Which... Honestly, putting it on consecrate seems like a good idea. Okay, can't take any else off. Soul collector, which in retrospect is actually way less useful now that I've spent all my souls. Well, what did I miss? Eight attack cards played, draw one. The end your turn with X amount of zeal. Eh, max energy by one. Eh. I mean, okay, Book of Arcane Secrets is good. Random stuff in a blue void stone, but I think I'm fine. Okay, Spell Child. So, refine. Recur. The top card. It's also upgraded. Return a chosen card from your discard to your hand. Interesting. Sunder, vulnerable three. Next card you play, played, oof. If I get this, I'm not sure how that works. I think that'll be fine. How do my spells work? Spell book. Do I just have all three? I guess we're just gonna go up here and figure it out. Okay, manage spell. You can only have one active at a time. Got it. So would I actually prefer to get rid of energize for energy tap? I think so, yes. Because that way I can just limit break for free every three turns. Or other things, but I think the, the whole free limit break is just too tempting not to go with. Upgrade Rolling Thunder for the time being. Burn this. I'm a little injured. And burn this as well. Cool. So what does he have? 
Okay, so I have to hit the Void Effigy before the vo the Cultist. That's probably fine. Uh, let's see, 11 damage. I'm going to get rid of this Dissipate. Oh, and feedback. Rude? Okay, fine. Be that way. So, Dissipate. Consecrate. Upgrade the other Dissipate. And discard anything. So we take no damage, and then we do a Rolling Thunder to make him feel the pain. And we almost got up to Zeal 10. So what's the game? Slay the Spire-like? I mean, it's a roguelike deck builder, yes. So there are going to be similarities. Did my cost go up, I want, rude. Okay, so Void Stones won't trigger, but that's fine. Next card you play will be sent to your discard, won't be played, cleared at the end of your turn. Oh, rude. Okay, so let's do that. Then this. Upgrade the other one. Then we're going to do that. That way I can do a free limit break. Which I was hoping would trigger more than it did, but it's fine. But yeah, if you want to be reductive, this is very much a Slay the Spire-like. It's just also one of the best. Uh, give her the Galvanize. Two cards to discard. Cripes. Grounded. Dissipate. Other Dissipate. Upgrade Dissipate. Pop another Dissipate. Oh, good. It was free. And you know what? All things considered, let's hit him with a wound for big damage. Okay. Card to send to the bottom of the deck. Get rid of the Galvanize. Can't do much with it. So first and foremost, we've been hit by a dispute, which is just rude. Uh, let's see. Burn both of those, dissipate, lose the galvanize, and then hit him with a consecrate, which actually seemed to have done a shit ton of damage. Okay. Get rid of... A galvanize. That's looking like a whole bunch of damage. I should not have gotten rid of that other galvanize in retrospect. Well, whatever. Uh, maybe I can make it work. Hold up. Start with that. Take less. Then we're going to galvanize. Burn Rolling Thunder, charge, and then this for a free limit break to avoid all damage. Yes! Okay, so what do we upgrade? Honestly, it's kind of tempting to start upgrading the Dissipates. The extra shock generation is really good. So, Expel All Affliction. Oh, Expel All Affliction is Expel. I see. It's still good, just not quite as good. I think I'm going to put this on my upgrade to Dissipate. Because now my Dissipates give me more Overcharge. Uh, let's see, so you stay in that room fighting constant waves of enemies, or is it a longer fight? It depends. So in this case, I have to kill the Hag. Um, start of each turn, discharge one, gain one energy. Ooh. Every time Shock is reduced on an enemy block two, or every time you kill a non-minion, your spell's cooldown will be... Whoa. All of these are actually really good. Tesla Trident means I'm going to be burning through more of my overcharge, but I'm going to have more energy actively. I like the idea of this one, but I'm not actually burning my shock down too much. So I'm thinking Tesla Trident. I'm going to have trouble keeping my overcharge up, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Get rid of this. Shifting winds twice. What is her special ability? Whenever you play an attack, before it triggers, you suffer two threat. Every time you draw Bane, this enemy increases their frenzy. Oof, rude. Okay, so what do we upgrade? Rolling Thunder. And I'm going to do the Grounded. And ironically enough, we're going to do the Consecrate and just burn a Dissipate so I don't take any damage. We get some zeal. Gets her even more. 
Not that it's too much damage, but still. Okay. Uh, card to put at the bottom of the deck. And I don't galvanize. Let's just do that. Burn the galvanize. And then get her with a rolling thunder. Okay. Upgrade probably one of the other ones. For the time being. And we don't need clashing steel. Yeah, my main goal here is effectively... Oh boy, that's 20 damage. I think it's still fine. Uh, let's get rid of a charge. Take no damage. Burn the limit break. Blessed recovery. And that. I'm just going to delay. I'm fairly strong if I do nothing. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Get rid of the charge, maybe? Do we do a galvanize? Tempting. Over. I think we're going to grab the baby red dragon. Wound, apply vulnerable. Yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, upgrade that. Oh, it's eighth ability card, so attacks do not count. That's fine, actually. Uh, let's see. Bottom of the deck, get rid of, get rid of charge. Speaking of, I think it's time that we just delete her from existence. So let's do charge, then wound. Oh, and then she just disappears. Cool. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's see. Lost and found? Yeah, because I can't go down. What does the lost and found have? Search artifacts that we've missed. So every time you cast your spell, vulnerable to a random enemy, which is actually really good. Six attack card. Play it is return to your hand. Eh. End of turn with zero energy, overcharge one. That's good. These are the ones I'm kind of looking for. I'm thinking the ma Magnetic Pavase wouldn't be bad. Bloody Ledger could be really, really good. I'm going to grab Bloody Ledger. And buy it. And... Cool. Okay. Manage deck. Do we have any new stones or any new cards? Like, oddly enough, I'm actually just super happy with the mostly basic deck that we've got here. Okay, so what do we get rid of? Well, dissipate. It helps me in no shape or form. Okay. Choose a card to upgrade. Rolling Thunder. I should probably upgrade that at some point. I'll we'll just get rid of Consecrate for the time being. So what is Dragon Mother's ability? Any block gained by playing or purging cards is capped at a maximum of 10. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. Get rid of that for the time being. Oh, we get overcharge? Oh, and... I don't know. Oh, Stormbrand, you have plus one max energy. When you start to turn at five overcharge, gain an energy. Fifteen, two energy instead. Oh, shit. I guess having more overcharge than I currently do actually might have been a really good idea. Oh, well, that's fine. Burn these, grab the grounded. Upgrade the Dissipate. Actually, that was a waste, but it's fine. And we don't need Clashing Steel. Is that me being on fire? I am on fire. Cool. Oh, Purging Cards reduces burn. Good to know. Uh, that's a lot of damage that I'm looking at. But we can get rid of this one. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Shock is at 15. So we're going to start with a Dissipate. Then another Dissipate. Upgrade Galvanize. And that's a shit ton of damage right then, then and there. Feedback. Burn the Galvanize. And then we're going to make Limit Break free for a shit ton of damage. Die. Burning 7 is rude. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we get Limit Break again. Well, when in doubt, die, potato. Thank you. We get some fervor. But poor Raven. Block 12, zeal 3, overcharge 1. At the ready. Oh shit. I think I'm gonna have to add that to the mix. 
snag that one because that gets me the overcharge I'm looking for. We do lose the upgrades, but honestly, they're not that they're not that necessary. Let's grab at the ready instead. Maybe these other ones, nope. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, shrines got. Pray for greed. 500 assets and three souls. Sure. All right, block 13, plus two for each ability played this turn. Oh, shield ball is kind of fun. I don't think I care that much, but still. Okay, none of them are hurting me, so grounded, shifting winds, shifting winds. Uh, burn consecrate. We are going to charge this boy up, make this free, and limit break the hell out of it. Yeah, taking out that runic pillar early is actually going to be really good. Probably. Uh, let's see. Get rid of Blessed Recovery. So, start with a double dissipate. I guess I didn't need to do that after all, but that's fine. I could have done a... Oh, I could have done a free spell there. That's fine. Oh, he summoned friend. Maybe we kill the Berserker. I'm, I'm never quite sure exactly what triggers... these guys showing up. Okay, we're not actually taking damage here, and we can only hit him. Hold up. We got a baby dragon for a reason. Hit him with a wound, burn both dissipates, get him with a galvanize. What is his ability? Okay, and there's nothing else I can do. Well, it's fine. Ooh. Add some damage. Let's see if we get lucky. I do, actually. Cool. Let's get rid of the charge. So, at the ready, block zeal overcharge, then a dissipate. Grounded. We're not taking any damage. And I might as well just do a rolling thunder on any of these guys. Probably the dude on the left. And, like I said, we take no damage, so we don't need to worry about it. They are getting tougher. We need to kill the berserker. But that's fine. I think we're in a great spot to do so. So let's get rid of... Dissipate. I don't think we need it. So, don't have too much juice. For starters... Can I just... No. Just give him. There. Now we just don't... Ha we don't need to worry about him or any of his shenanigans. Uh, let's see. Charge him. And then we might as well make Galvanize free and just delete them all from existence. Perfect. I'm a magic creature. Boost Rolling Thunder. And boss time. The Guardian is terrifying. The Birth Pit. No, thank you. Was that the first time above 10 zeal? I think so. Uh, let's see. Bottom of the deck. Oof. Uh, with... Mm. Actually, like at the ready. But, no. Shifting winds, shifting winds, grounded, burn the galvanize, other grounded, and then... I can't really do rolling thunder, can I? Or maybe I can, because it, it still gets me an overcharge at the very least. I'll take it. Okay, I'm looking at 14 damage. Get rid of the galvanize. Hit the dissipate. And we take none. Perfect. Burn these. I like my overcharge too much, so we're just gonna sit on it, have a ton of energy. Okay, get rid of one of those. Get that. We have a feedback. Consecrate. And sift. Discard something from my deck. Get rid of that. Burned them. When targeted by an attacker, an ally is killed. Increased frenzy by one. Resets after attacking. Spooky. Oh, hold up. We do have the dragon. Sure, why not? And we burn the dissipate. Because we don't need to worry about it. Holy smokes, this sucker is going to be very scary. Never mind, it actually got weakened at the right time. Uh, let's get rid of Blessed Recovery. I don't think we need it at the moment. So, 
taking a look at this is a little bit of a awkward, awkward position. I've got a ton of energy though. Uh, you know what? I heal immediately after this fight. So who cares if it's not perfect, right? I don't know. Doing it anyway. All right, let's burn. What do we have that costs three? Galvanize. Okay. At the ready. Limit break to make it free. 318 damage to the boss. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Booster pack with a guaranteed rare to upgrade points or uncommon artifact. First time each battle, you play a heavy card. Block 10, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Eh, it's not bad. Not necessarily the best. What does a black void stone do? Oh. Adds a copy. Or a green and a black void stone. Or a yellow void stone. Hmm. I actually kind of like some of these. I think we can afford all of them, which is weird and exciting, maybe? First time each battle, you play a heavy card. I like the Promise of Antiquity. Upgrade point, ooh, upgrade points would be good too. I think the upgrade points would actually be better. And... Rip money, hello stuff. So we can upgrade a couple of things. Uh, let's start with Grounded. And then at the ready? Absolutely. Okay. Can release my remaining souls. Oh, it is boss time. Cool. Well, we've got some cards to play. Ooh. Okay. So, Blessed Recovery, we don't really need to boost. Feedback, though. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a black void stone on feedback. That way we can just get two of those. And next up, I don't think we got many others. So I'm gonna put the other black void stone on Probably grounded. That way we just get multiple of them. More block on a dissipate. Rigged. I guess I might as well rig that other grounded. And charge on, or red stone on a charge? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so what do we do? Obsidian Golem? I don't actually remember which of these gets me the cool stuff. I think the spider nest does. I, oh, sorry. During the void fight, enemies will suffer week one at the start of the turn if they're over 75% HP. When you kill a Void Touch during your turn, draw three. When a Void Touch dies during the enemy turn, delay, delay draw three. Every third turn, gain a bunch of rage. Or during the Void part, void Fight, every time you purge a card, block two. Hmm. Probably this one. These guys are a little stinky, but I should be fine. Okay. And... I don't know, get rid of... Blessed Recovery, grab the Shifting Winds, Grounded. Do I lead with the Consecrate? Let me take a look at this. Oh, I forgot. That's how these guys work. I gotta actually nix their Frenzy a little bit, otherwise they become a problem. These guys are the anti, um... <sighs> the anti-turtle and they get really really spooky really fast so I might actually just have to accept that I'm gonna take some damage here how much damage do you do not enough wait if I do this and then uh, and then this. We get that. We get Clashing Steel, which I'm then going to make this free, which insta-gibs him. Yes! I don't care if you're anti-turtle. Oh shit, there's more of them. What? Rude. It's fine. Uh, let's see, what do we get rid of? Honestly grounded for the time being. We need to be way more punchy than we currently are. And that means getting real fighty. 
Give me that wound. We'll just kill him. Perfect. Free attack. Doesn't kill it. Let's just go for another overcharge. Burn that. Okay, I don't actually know how many of these guys I'm supposed to fight. <laughs> Ah, uh, but it's fine. I'm in a much stronger position. Let's get rid of Rolling Thunder. Sadly, just is not in the cards today. Double grounded. And then we don't really need the Dissipate at the moment. So we're just going to generate a ton of energy. Wow, my overcharge is up to 13. We burn a lot of it per round, but boy, that does not matter to me. Die. Okay. Star Council. During the Void Fight, enemies start weak the... Yeah, that actually is kind of nice. Gives me more time to get set up. Get rid of that. Because Shifting Winds, Shifting Winds, Grounded, Burn Feedback, Grounded again, Free Limit Break, who do we hit? Any of them. Probably this guy. Considering he's the one making himself stronger. Okay, what do we have now? 26 damage is a little spooky. Uh, get rid of the Galvanize. We just don't have enough juice for it. So, start with that to ready. And then dissipate. Burn that. Get rid of the Galvanize. And then we'll just shock him a little bit. At least my zeal is through the roof. I guess I should have gotten a Zeal 10, but is what it is. Bottom of the deck, that. And what do we have? Oh boy. That's rude. Next round is free. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll be patient. They're getting me with a lot of, oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, blessed recovery we do not need. Okay, and I don't think there's a way that I can avoid taking damage here. But maybe that's fine. Because I can at least kill one of them. And we don't need the Flawless here. Okay. Get rid of that. Oh, wait, no, he's... shoot. Eh, it's fine. Oh, the stone was still... knocked. Okay, uh, it's... Burn both of these. And just get rid of that buff. Okay. Draw Blessed Recovery. Nice as it would be. Don't really care. Let's see. Give it a bunch of damage. If I do that, then Consecrate. Kills the dude on the side. Uh, Sift the Blessed Recovery. Grab that, and then Limit Break is just the most obscene amount of damage. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's only two fights before you fight the Void. Alright, sure, why not? So we have two Void Touched. We're going into this with near full health, and we are absurd. Get rid of Charge. Sifting Winds. Grounded. Burn Concentrate. Because we might as well do the Rolling Thunder for the bonus. Okay. I think we want to take out the guy on the right if we can. A lot of energy. Okay, so let's start with the Dissipate. Give them a bit of shock. Get him with a wound. Get him with a charge. 
get him with the galvanize. That gets me a bunch of overcharge and hurts him pretty bad. Okay, unfortunately he's got taunts, but whatever. Uh, let's get rid of Galvanize for the time being. So, start off with a Dissipate. Let me cycle something in. Ooh, but we don't need feedback. Do a Double Grounded, because that's always good. At the ready for a shit ton of zeal. Burn this to Limit Break him into Oblivion. Uh, and then we do nothing because I don't have enough, enough juice. Oh wait, no, I should have gotten rid of them all. I'm a dang fool. Well, whatever, it's fine. Get rid of that, not taking too much damage. My overcharge is amazing. Burn these other two, hit him for a bunch. And yeah, almost hit the zeal bonus, but it's okay. I was joking when I said it'd be cool if this game had a Shadow Link style fight. Well, here you go. Uh, the end of turn. Ooh. Cripple is rude, but not actually that bad. And we're not looking at a whole lot of damage. So let's get rid of feedback. I guess I might as well do that. Burn this one, hit him with a wound. And then rolling thunder, which actually kills the other guy. Uh, let's see, then we burn Limit Break, can't get rid of Clash and Steel, but I might as well do that for a decent chunk of damage. And we get rid of the Galvanize, just in case we were going to take any damage. I guess I could have actually Limit Broke, but whatever. Okay, and we're still not looking at any damage, so I guess I'm just going to do that? How much energy do I have? A bunch. I might as well do these two charge and then at the ready just for a bunch of free zeal and a little bit of damage to him oh my god my overcharge is up to 25 <laughs> that's why I have so much energy 11 burnt I've got 11 oh baby this is fun uh, let's see what do we get rid of I don't actually know what does scrap do oh discarded the end of turn so I can't actually get rid of remorse whereas days will go away Good to know. Well, I guess we might as well charge. Then feedback twice. Is Wander broken the game over his knee at this point? I'd say we're pretty solidly there, yeah. Okay. Like, I'm mostly waiting for Limit Break to show up, though I guess I'm not in the best spot to do a ton of damage to him. Okay, Cripple or Stun. Actually, Cripple is way more dangerous. Speaking of, this is going to hurt a bit, but that's fine. I can Sift. We don't have a Consecrate Crate. We do have a Dissipate. Yeah, I'm just going to take some damage here. But at least we can get rid of that one. And then we can give him... Oh, never mind. We don't have to worry about anything. Sure, why not? Uh, get rid of Dissipate. I don't want to say we're in uh, full do or die territory at this point. But it vaguely feels like it. Luckily, Limit Break. Damn it. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would. Boy, that freaking cripple is absolutely brutal. But that's okay. Limit Break came through. Yeah, I think I broke the game over my knee. That was a really good run. Obviously, I could also play a uh, much harder difficulty, but I don't know. Okay, every time you make it to the vault, you get a chance to choose a new card to master. Every class has 10 commons you can master. 
and we get to keep one if we want to. So draw one, overcharge two, it's okay. Damage equal to half the target shock to other enemies. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, for Force Thrust is not bad. Static Saber is kind of fun. Well, let's go for Forked Thrust. Building around that sounds kind of amusing in a really good way. Anyway, uh, that was solid. So obviously we could do another run. There's also uh, harder difficulties, higher AP, frenzy, and passive values for enemies. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna graduate past normal. I am, I am a guy that chases bullshit mountain, not pain. Uh, but I, I have to say, the 1.0 for Vault of the Void is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this game was great when it first came out in Early Access, and it's been great the entire way through. There are very few roguelike deck builders I will go back to, and this is one of them. And it's one of the ones I actually recommended. I did a video essay on... A video essay, like a compilation recommendation for roguelike deck builders, and I stand by what I said about Vault of the Void in that one. That it really is actually, like, kind of a shame it's overshadowed by some of the other roguelike deck builders because it's just that good. The card art is amazing. It was made by an art director uh, for, like, other games that he had decided to kind of strike out on his own and make this game on his own time. And, like, you really can tell that the, the guy that made this did all of the art himself and did a really good job making it look nice. Um, but I will say Vault of the Void is available on Steam. It's been out in 1.0 for a week. And it's 15 bucks. Damn. That is actually pretty cheap. Uh, so it's actually one of the cheaper high quality roguelike deck builders out there. So I don't know. If you like Slay the Spire and you haven't tried this one, do yourself a favor and pick it up. It's real good. It's definitely going to feel kind of similar, but it does enough different that it's very worthwhile. For me, I, the big feature is actually one of the main selling points is you only ever have 20 cards in your deck at a time. So there's no bloat. But you also can't pull a Rhapsody and have like three cards that you cycle every round like a complete scum lord. So, I mean, there's a balancing factor, but I don't know. Makes my life easier, and I don't have to wor uh, worry about it. Because I, otherwise I end up with like 40 cards. And I'm like, but I like all of them. I don't want to give them up. And it's like, then I just never get the good cards. It's like, oh, oops. Anyway, with that though, uh, I guess for those of you, ah, those of you guys on YouTube, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. But for now, I'm going to go play something else.